Unlike wind and other energy sources, solar energy doesn't require a generator to create electrical energy. Instead, solar energy relies on a reaction that happens inside the solar panels. Let me break it down for you. Believe it or not, the part of the solar panel where electricity is generated is mostly made of sand, sand that gets converted to silicon. Solar panels are comprised of hundreds of photovoltaic cells, meaning they're capable of producing an electrical current. When the sun's rays shine down on the panel silicon, they cause the electrons inside the silicon to get excited and break their orbit. This movement of electrons is completely random, so in order for the electrons to flow together, they need a path to travel on, like on a wire. Now connecting a wire to metal plates does just that. It creates a pathway for the electrons to flow, resulting in DC, or direct current. Okay, that's how a solar panel generates electrical energy. But where does this current go? The DC electricity from the solar cells is captured and fed to an inverter, where it's converted to AC, or alternating current, so it can efficiently travel over long distances. This energy travels across high voltage power lines to a step-down transformer, where it's converted to a lower and safer level of power before traveling across power lines to your home. The electrical energy generated from solar parks enters the power grid, just like everything else, and joins the energy mix with other sources, like wind and natural gas. 